we're visiting Wakanda State Park. Looks like there's lakes, a swimming beach, trails, picnic area, and a campground. We have a map, so we're orienting ourselves. We've come in here and we can go to the left and this is the Boulder Lake and Granite Lakes. So this is the Boulder Campground. Or we can go to the right and go all the way down here to this campground. Um, or when we go to the right, it looks like we can cut through Agate Lake Road. And all of the colored things are trails, so we've got to read the trail list. There's a sand prairie trail with a overlook. This one looks like a really long one, this red one. There's one up here, Jasper Lake Trail. So we're gonna read about trails. Well, that's an easy list for the trails. And um, since we are short on time, we wanna either check out the 0.4 mile trail or the one mile trail. Here's a 0.3 mile trail. The others are a bit too long for us. It even gives it a rating. Boulder Lake Campground. <laughs> it's beautiful down in here. Look at all the campsites right on the lake. I would like that. Very nice shower house and laundry right next to all the camping sites. campsites down this area. There's a lot. There's the main entrance. This time we're going to go up the other way. I don't know what these things are. That's the second one I've seen. How interesting. There's this uh, building that leads down to the beach area. I guess there's swimming down there. Cool. We're just driving around checking out the park. Opposite the beach area is a nice pavilion. So looking at the map, here's the swimming. So here's where we're at with the beach area. So it looks like there's other little roads in and around that I'm picking up on. It was, you swim at Wakanda Lake. Okay, this is a Wakanda Lake boat launch right here. the water. So here's the uh, camping area at the other end of the park. We have a lake over here. Okay, here's, these are some of the nice camping spots. This is campsite site 108 in Wakanda Park and it's right next to the water but apparently there's also like a quarry or something right across the way. So choose your campsites wisely. Now we're turning down this Agate Lake Road. Come to a large parking lot and a body of water. This is confusing, but we're going to have to get out and look around. So we came down this road and we're here, trailhead. There's one here, one here, one here, one here. I'm assuming this one goes across there where we want to go. So we got to go out and try to figure out which trailhead is where. A gate lake. 167 acres. Kayaks would be fun. Right here, some signs. So you have, I guess, three starting from here. The Quartz Lake Trail, 0.3 miles, blazed in orange. Sand Prairie Trail, which is what we wanted to take, one mile in green. And the long one is in blue. 
So I guess they all start here. Although there is something across the parking lot over there. It's a little confusing. Bathrooms. Okay, we have a left and a right right of way. So the orange, the short one, 0.3, is to the right, and the green and the blue are to the left. We're going on the green one. We want to go a mile. There's another split, and the blue goes that way. The green goes this way. That road seems to go on and on and on. We're hoping it's not a mile there and a mile back. But over here is a shot of the water. Seeing the lake way over there in the distance and lots of waterfowl and uh, geese. Getting closer to the end. Looks like a bench. So we've gone about four tenths of a mile. Of course, a little bit of that was walking across the parking lot. And we have a split, it says green both ways. So we are going to go to the left because it had a little, because the map had a little binocular icon. So we're assuming this is a view, plus it's going down closer toward the lake. Beautiful blue sky. I bet you all these things are fun in season, They're blooming. between two lakes. There's an island out there watching all the birds. There's been some birds in the foliage beside the road too. And the road ahead we see the end. The water over there. We've gone seven tenths of a mile, and that included some walking around at the parking lot before I started. Yeah, we're going up higher so we can get more wind. <laughs> yeah, and look, I got me a fall leaf. Here. No, let it go. Wait for the wind. Oh, it just fell down. <laughs> okay, so. bench you can sit at. Just don't fall 
all asleep in Temple Forward. With a good camera lens, you could reach all those lined up. Look at them all lined up on the top of the island. Oh my gosh, how funny. <laughs> Too bad we can't stay longer because it's so cold and we have to keep moving. It's right at freezing, I think. Right at 32 degrees. Isn't that a cool shot? <laughs> Can you find your vehicle? There's a, the parking area. So we are talking about our experience at Conda State Park and we really like it. It's a really nice place. We would come back and actually camp. We're just kind of driving through it today on our way home from visiting. And, uh, <laughs> but this is like four hours from our home and Current River is like three. <laughs> and if we had to choose, we're always pulled to the rivers, always, um, rather than the lakes. So for us, this might be a really great place to, uh, do a, like a fall camp out with a fall hike. I'm wondering what the colors would be like and like the end of September maybe when it's getting too cold to get in the rivers but still just a bit nippy for campfires. Yeah, that, that for us being as far away as we are would draw us here. So we went down here and to the left, there's the island. This island can also be seen from this uh, boat dock. But we could have gone down the other way and uh, seen the water from there. 